Hi everyone, this is section 1 in video 3. In previous video, we created the database in the tables for this project and now we need to create a page insert underscore sites insert underscore site dot php and we have another page so dot html here this is the display page just uh, inside inside your uh, notepad plus plus control n to create a new page and i will copy the basic structure from here this page and we'll close the head over here the body will be started from here and the body will be closed here in HTML control is to save inside the search engine folder and name it insert site.php enter now after that you need to create actually a form or here as well because we are inserting data into database so create a form and uh, action page should be insert underscore site dot php the same page that we have here and the method will be is equal to post because we are posting the data and here you will insert one more important uh, one more important attribute which is always inserted in the form tag for any multimedia data or any multi-part data for example images or videos or any files media files basically which which are having more than one parts so for that we use ink type ink type is equal to multi part backslash form dash data this is basically a special attribute when you are inserting images or media files in, uh, while inserting data from uh, using forms now I will just close the form tag over here and now inside the form tag we need to create a table for clearing the code more so here I will create a table table so width will be is equal to 500 and it will be also having a border of is equal to 2 pixels and cell spacing 2 pixels a line will be centered center line and after that I will close the table here inside the table I just made a little bit space for clearing for clarifying the code I will insert a TR TR are basically table rows which are inserted inside tables so this is a TR inside the tier I will insert a th sorry td I will write uh, here that uh, inserting new website td will be closed here and now we need to copy this whole the tr and tds and paste it few times because we need to search some data or you can say just control Z it you can also create another one TR TD and uh, we need two TDs over here basically now the TR will be closed here here we will write for example site title and in this second td we will insert an input tag inside the td this will be type will be is equal to type sorry text name will be is equal to 
site underscore title that's all now we can copy this one this will be a little bit more easier for us Let's paste it again and again Six time I have pasted it now just change the values for example the site name was that mm, according to our table we need to check it site title site link site keywords etc so this is second one is link third one is site keywords fourth one is site description and uh, fifth one is site image yeah site title site link site keywords site description and site image just we need to also change the names of these fields inside the in input tag like this one to site underscore link another one to site underscore keywords these are very important names the field names which we can use to target in PHP codes to receive the data from and insert into database so site underscore description shortcut DESC and this is basically input take but the type is different like file for always for selecting a file we always insert input take but the type is added like file because this is a file basically and we will name it site image now come here to the last one we need to remove this uh, and uh, need to remove this and make it a submit button basically submit button and its name will be submit and here we will add a value to display on the button like uh, add site now control is to save and you can view this very very simple page after writing localhost in search engine folder inside that you can find it search site underscore php you click it you will see this table over here with few you know few fields in these things we can make it more better more beautiful by simply you know adding an h2 tag over here and also here close h2 tag so that we can add some bg color to the body so html color basically bg color like uh, gray and the table color you can add as bg color is equal to orange and you can add call spend to the first td because to make it you know to make it to merge it so you can add it a five or six or anything about the columns total columns you have you uh, will add more call spans here if you have five uh, more fields or more columns over here so you will need five or six or anything so after control s to save now just refresh this page and you can see a beautiful a little bit beautiful table over here now if you want to make it more beautiful you can then this the first td which is having just a text or a title for this table or for this form you can insert a line tag over here for that td align center to make it more beautiful and you can also add an attribute to all of these 
TDs which are having the just the simple takes text for these fields like site title, site link, keywords, etc. So just add an align attribute over here, align right. This will make them beautiful. Copy this one and paste it to inside the another TD and this one as well and next one as well the side images as well and also you need to add some call span to this td as well first align is equal to center this button should also be centered and call span is equal to 5 control s replace the page you are saying oh, it's beautiful a little bit beautiful thing here if you want to make it more beautiful you're welcome just write a b tag over here actually strong tag is used for uh, make a text a little bit bold but I'm using b because of just not having much time or saving the time you can say so write b tag before the text so it the line will be smaller mm. side title I'm actually teaching you a little bit the HTML tables and how to write codes and how to insert tags so you can better understand how to work with HTML as well but one thing we have forgot that uh, for site description we will not use actually we will not use this input tag we'll use another tag called HTML tag called text area text area which uh, size sorry calls calls means columns will be around uh, 16 and rows will be is equal to 8 and its name will be description d uh, site underscore d e s c and here we will close it and after the text area close this is basically a pair tag so we added this because we want to uh, make a, a little bit bigger box for description, for site description. Now just replace this page. You can see over here. You can make it a little bit more bigger by adding some more columns. For example, 18 or 20. This I saved the page, replace it. Now you are seeing this one. So this is ready. Now when you click this add site now, so all the data will be inserted into this table and after that we can show this data or we can display this data when someone will search in our search engine the simple page search.html or here so in the next video I will be teaching you how to insert this data into our database in PHP and we will be starting for the first time the PHP codes uh, so this the next video will be very important for you because you are first time learning PHP in MySQL work in inserting the database in, uh, data into inter database and after we inserted the data into this table so our first section will be completed and after the, in the second section we will then start how can we display the data on the result page so stay tuned